you know that NASA launched rockets from a launch pad in Michigan's Upper Peninsula from 1964 to 1971? We found that and more on our trip to Michigan's Upper Peninsula. It's interesting what you'll find when you're out boondocking. Stick around and we'll show you our three favorite boondocking sites in the UP. Wilderness camping, primitive camping, or boondocking as it's popularly called. It's really nothing more than free camping without water, electricity, sewer, or facilities. Typically boondocking is done on public land such as National Forest, Bureau of Land Management, known as BLM, or State Forest. It's perfectly legal to camp on these sites up to 14 days before you have to leave the area. Check with the local authorities for specific rules and number of days allowed. We're brand new to the concept of boondocking and we kind of fell in love with it. Coming in at number three on our boondocking list is Peninsula Point in the Hiawatha National Forest. A mile up the road from the Peninsula Point Lighthouse, people with larger RVs have to park in the lot and walk to view the lighthouse property, while smaller vehicles can manage the road. If you're here at the right time in the late summer, you'll get to witness hundreds, maybe even thousands of monarch butterflies gather on the peninsula before their migration south. Just as the Peninsula Point Lighthouse guided ships on Lake Michigan, the Stonington Peninsula guides monarch butterflies as they begin their 1900 mile migration south to the wintering grounds in the Sierra Madre Mountains of Mexico. In the fall, thousands of monarchs can be seen here waiting for favorable conditions before they cross Lake Michigan. Peninsula Point is one of only a few places in North America where monarchs can be viewed migrating in great numbers. Halfway between the RV parking lot and the lighthouse, across the road from the bay, you'll find the boondocking site. There is plenty of room for several campsites with a ready-made fire pit just waiting for some firewood to be placed in it. We had the site to ourselves on this warm summer night. We even enjoyed a beautiful sunset with Escanaba in the background. Number two on our boondocking sites list is another site in the Hiawatha National Forest located five long miles northwest of the town of Christmas, Michigan. This was the second roughest road on our trip, but well worth the slow travel. Turn north at the crossroads off Forest Road 2491. This beautiful site overlooks Lake Superior and the crashing waves below provided a great sound to fall asleep to. In the distance to the east we could see pictured rocks with Grand Island in between. The rock ledge below provided a perfect fire pit and viewing spot for the sunset. There were probably five other campsites being used in the area on the night we were there, but the sites are fairly secluded from each other.
And the number one boondocking spot on our trip is High Rock Bay at the tip of the Keweenaw Peninsula. The 13 mile drive to the site just adds to the charm of this location. The road is very rough and you need to drive carefully dodging rocks and potholes, but it was well worth the slow travel. Researching this camping site, it mentions you should not attempt to drive unless you have a high clearance vehicle, although we saw an Astro van arrive there as we were leaving. It was also highly recommended that you shouldn't attempt this route after it rained. Even when it hasn't rained in a while, there are numerous large puddles to navigate. We've been watching YouTube videos and reading about High Rock Bay for a while and really look forward to the State Forest Camping Site. This is a popular site for locals and visitors to the area for picnics, ATV, and camping. Standing on the shore of Lake Superior, looking east two miles, you can see Manitou Island and the Gulf Rock Lighthouse, which was built in 1867. The evening was beautiful, enjoying the campfire as night slowly fell upon us. While we weren't totally alone in this boondocking site, campers were few and very spread out. We were able to only see one campsite in the distance from our site. Around 4.30 in the morning, we awoke to gentle raindrops. This left us wondering if we might be stranded here for a few days after hearing the advice not to take the road after rainy weather. Fortunately the rain was done soon, but since we were already awake we took the opportunity to witness the beautiful sunrise through the rain clouds in the distance. We also heard the churning of a ship engine and watched it move slowly west to east. We could see and hear it for probably 20 miles as it made its way east on Lake Superior. A short walk down the Lake Superior shoreline from our campsite is a piece of forgotten history. Abandoned for decades, the site and plaque commemorate the Keweenaw Peninsula's history with NASA and atmospheric exploration. From this site starting in 1964, rockets such as the 27-foot tall, 1,700-pound Nike Apache and the 6-foot Arcus were launched to measure high-altitude winds and other atmospheric measurements. 
The plaque reads, the state of Michigan established a rocket range on this site which was used from 1964 to 1971. Michigan's first rocket to enter space was launched from this site on January 29, 1971. In tribute to the historic work done in the field of rocketry, this memorial stone was placed in the summer of the year 2000 by NASA. All that remains of the site today is the concrete pad, metal rails, and the commemorative plaque for explorers to rediscover this local history. We recommend if you're ever in Michigan's Upper Peninsula to give these boondocking sites a try. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of our videos, click the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a question or comment below.